Hello everyone, welcome back to DTX Dysfunction. Welcome back to the channel here. As I promised, the last GTA uh, Thug Life episode. This is GTA Thug Life episode number five. As I said, the last one, we're gonna do War and Los Santos. And you see, we're in bad. Like I said, we're like I said, we're seeing we're in Bassport Lobby, and uh, yeah. But we don't know if it's gonna stay in Los Santos, so we're gonna make this War in San Andreas. And we're gonna make it, it might be better to on to do this in San Andreas, uh, do this in Bad Sport, I should, I should, as I should say, because uh, Bad Sport, as you know, is the most violent place in GTA. This is GTA Prison, man. GTA Prison. This is my third time in Bad Sport. I got three days, seven hours, and some, some, some minutes uh, remaining in Bad Sport. I'm gonna do this in Bad Sport because why not do it in Bad Sport than a regular lobby? Because it's more likely to have a war in bad sport. And uh, as I said, uploaded uh, recently um, YouTube channel update. I know I said I was going to do some streams, but I thought like episodes I will still will record, pre record. There will not be streams. Maybe a couple, but mostly are recording due to the intro. Uh, I don't have technology yet to add an intro in the beginning of the live stream, stuff like that. I don't have a computer. I just, I record and do all this stuff from my PS4, and uh, so uh, yeah, there's that. So uh, let's get on to the video. So we are heading to the city for science of the MC of booty. Well, the MC of uh, Dub Booty. I changed the name of it. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done one since I've done a video. So now I'm I'm a level uh, 210. And uh, uh, this is going to be an interesting video, but uh, we're going to land over here. Let's jump out of our helicopter before someone spots us and tries to blow us up. We're going to try, like I said, we're going to try to make this war in San Andreas, uh, Bad Sports, Bad Sport Lobby. As I, its reputation, this will be the most ideal setting to make a war because it is Bad Sport Lobby. But uh, I'm gonna get down here, get my oppressor. We'll try to spawn in my look. There's a jet already. I'm gonna spawn my oppressor in. I'm gonna try to call in a jet. As you can see, there is like I said, it said three days, seven hours, and twelve minutes left in Bad Sport. Let me turn off this crappy music. In Bad Sport, yeah, you can't have any helmets on. My uh, this outfit I've literally named Try Hard. Uh, there will be new parts edit, uh, edited into the intro, one that's not related, that wasn't on this, uh, done during this video, uh, one might be done in this video, but uh, yeah, we're going to try to do war in San Andreas, I'm going to call in, uh, this dude over here. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management, how can I help? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. We died. Of course, there's, there's always those people off radar that are trying to kill you in Bad Sport Lobby, but that's what Bad Sport is unfortunately about. I normally hate it. Because half the people in this lobby are off radar or in ghost organization, which is really, really annoying because they never get out of ghost mode. They're always trying to go ghost and stupid stuff like that. And I don't even know how he got me right there. Oh, I got him too. That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I got him too. I didn't know I got him. So I got a headshot. Oh. Thanks for that seventeen dollars. <laughs> as soon as we get to uh, where we need to go, I don't even know how he got his oppressor back that quickly. I can see he's about to go ghost. Of course, he went ghost mode. I tell, I just I'm telling you, every person in GTA has to go ghost or go off radar, like little. Yep, 
They can't. They can't stay on radar. I don't know if we can do war in Los Santos or not. Starting to get annoying. That guy is starting to get annoying. I can't even call my freaking insurance to get my oppressor back. I got two oppressor mark two. Morse Mutual, we're here to help. I'll look into it. I got him again. We got each other again. This is starting to get really on my nerves. Because stupid people on GTA don't know how to uh, play uh, like they actually know how to play the game. Morse Mutual Insurance, how, how can we help you? Kills kills because they can't get no I kills can do that. because they're trash at this game. Unfortunately. I wish I wouldn't say that. I want to get my... I want to get my uh, Oppressor Mark II. Or do something. But I know this guy's going to call his Oppressor. And try to come back. Or probably not. He just called it in not too long ago. So I might be able to get my pressure after all. Never mind. I thought I would have been able to. Shit, anybody got eyes on him? I don't know where this guy is. I don't even know how the heck I got cops on me. There's four. Boy, if you don't get. Uh, like again, he's in ghost mode. Because he can't get any kills. No one in Bad Sport can get any kills without going ghost. Half the people in ghost <laughs> What the fuck? In uh, Bad Sport always operate our in ghost mode. It's unfortunate. It's annoying. And I swear people are in Bad Sport. Yes, I know they're in Bad Sport for a reason, but come on, man. Nope. I gotta hurry up and sign out. Go in the register the CEO abilities. Go ghost. Go over here and get my laser. Oh come Ooh. on, man! As soon as I go ghost, I don't know if we're gonna go on this. Uh, unfortunately, yes, I do suck uh, when it comes to uh, fighting everyone who's in ghost mode. Because you can see he was in ghost as well. MMI, we I expect the unexpected. Way. Okay. I was literally on my way to go get my vehicle which we were already there to go get it and got killed by that jet like you already knew where I was going we got two more minutes off radar I'm sorry I got a little cold here uh, but most of the stuff I'm not gonna cut out I might cut out like the little brief parts like uh, this I gotta run all over here to go get my uh, oppressor because the game doesn't know how to spawn it right, and I, I can't sign out of my CEO or else I lose my advantage of being ghost. But let me know if you're ever in Bad Sport, if you're a person in Bad Sport, if you hate that too, how everyone's always going off radar or ghost organization just to get a kill. Because I know sometimes I'll be sitting there and, uh, since I don't make money off YouTube videos right now, I'm gonna use a little foul language, so you censor me out if uh, if you're a kid or if you're not allowed to hear, you know, stuff like that. I'm trying to make it a little family friendly, but I'm just trying to repeat what people, most people say in Bad Sport when you gotta, most people when you question them in Bad Sport, it's like, why you gotta go ghost or go off radar to get kills? They're like, bro, what the fuck you mean? It's Bad Sport Lobby. And they gotta, they gotta, uh, talk some stupid stuff because they know they can't get any kills otherwise because they're bad sport 
They're like, what do you mean? This is basketball lobby. That's what normally that's their reaction every time. What do you mean? It's basketball lobby. And they start cussing, say some foul stuff about your family or something like that. Uh, yeah, people, some people take this game a little bit too serious. He's about to kill me anyways. This is starting to get annoying. It really is. And I'm no longer in ghost mode anymore, so... We're gonna call and try to call in the... Oh no, that's not even gonna work. I will say we should call in the Kajali tank. But everyone knows that's not gonna work, is it? Holy shit. So we're gonna go to vehicles. We're gonna request the Akula. It's been a while since I used the Akula in a uh, GTA, but it's how it's gonna go. Like I said, I was trying to make this war in uh, San Andreas. Probably still gonna be the title, but you know, most likely the title's gonna be uh, War Lo War in Los Santos Fail because that's what it's gonna be—a fail. I would like to get a vehicle, but. I know that's not going to happen because everyone's using explosions so much that you can't do anything. You might as well be a minor war in Los Santos because I'm the one getting killed. Yes, I did get a couple kills and there's someone right there about to kill me. I'm just trying to go get my Akula now and that's not going to work out. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to go into the pause menu without getting killed. I'm gonna try to go over there and uh, get some kills. Well, I'll try to go get my Akula. But I know on the way there, I'm gonna get killed more than once. Because the dang flying uh, flying death mosquito of the uh, Oppressor Mark II. I swear, that, that vehicle is so overpowered, Rockstar needs to put a vehicle to counter it besides the fully loaded Ruiner. Which you can only use for about 20 minutes or so during that mission. It doesn't count, so when some people are in ghosts, they shoot you out of your car, and then they guard your vehicle, so you can't get it back. Uh, so, GTA, the community in GTA has become more toxic and toxic over the years due to all this stuff Rockstar decides to put in the game. I'm almost to me, uh, my Akula. Hopefully I can get some kills in that. And try to start World War Santos. I would like to use, I don't know, before I said we could, uh, I was gonna use the Kanjali tank with that in there. But the Kanjali tank, it's not gonna stand a chance in Bassport against a flying death mosquito of the Oppressor Mark II. Because I know I have taken out many, many, Oppress uh, tanks with the Oppressor Mark II. Mainly of them were Kanjali tanks. We're probably gonna get killed here in a minute because that dude in the Oppressor Mark II who was over there, and I'm going the wrong way, about to sign my death warrant in GTA Online. There was someone over there in the Nakula or something. I don't know what they're exactly in. Somebody's going psycho. I'm just driving over here and somehow already got the cops on me. Even though I did not do anything. But that is Rockstar because GTA LA is racist. And I am a black character because I am uh, biracial in real life. And uh, yeah, of course the cops will come on to me because they don't like black people in the Hi. city. What service are you looking for? So you don't want to get into serious trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. This car is really slow. Looks like I was wrong. Uh, fortunately, I was wrong and didn't get killed. Only because that guy was doing gun running. We are now in the Akula. Now hopefully we can get some more kills. 
Hopefully. Hopefully we can start up a war in Los Santos. Or war in San Andreas, as the title would say, but it'd most likely be war in San Andreas. Or war in San Andreas fail. Because that's more likely what it's gonna be. A fail. Of course, got killed by that dude in ghost mode. Not even the Akula stands a chance in this lobby. Unfortunately, I just called one in, so it's not going to let me call another one in. Hello, this is Morse Mutual Insurance. I can do that. I'm about to the and take that out for a ride, so maybe I can get some kills that way. And I might get ran over by a train because I'm stuck right here. I was able to save my life, but I'm about to go get the modded, uh, modded speedo. So, okay, so we got the modded speedo, and uh, well, we're, I was sitting here waiting for a uh, people come out of the uh, mod shop. I'm pretty sure they're on top of the roof trying to hide. I wish I was recording at the time, but I just called the cops off me, so I can wait for these guys in peace. And uh, a cop car hits my vehicle into another cop car, and then gets the cops on me right after I call them off me. So, uh, more people going off ghost, organiza going ghost, ghost organization. Almost killed one person, and he, uh, he killed himself. Uh, it took the easy way out, of course, like most people do in GTA Online, because this is bad sport, and most of the people in GTA Online are toxic, uh, mostly in bad sport. I don't ever aim to go in bad sport, but it go happens accidentally. And try to find some people to kill. This is definitely a war in Los Santos or a war in San Andreas fail because it is not happening. The guy over here. All right, we were here. I was going for somebody, and they uh, they vanished. Uh, I just got a text from my uh, my cousin, Sir Plus Flame. There's another guy in a speed over there. Looks like he's all in ghost organization, of course. We're gonna go over here, try to get this guy. Hopefully. He might shoot me through the windshield. No, he got an oppressor mark too. Once again, another flying death mosquito of GTA Online. It's hard to get any kills in this game. Looks like his ghost mode just ran out. Uh, I can't leave this lobby because I'll go try to find a new lobby. It'll be all the same people. This is definitely a GTA uh, Thug Life episode number five. Well, uh, oh, well, of course it's that. But this is definitely a. Uh, War and San Andreas fail. I don't know how many times, but that's what it's going to be because I can't kill anyone in bad sport because all the people are in ghost, ghost or something like that. They're in a jet or oppressor mark two in ghost mode or off radar. So I can't find nobody. And I can't really necessarily kill anyone either because of that one main fact right there. That's how GTA Bad Sport Lobby is. It's more better trolling in the free mode lobbies than it is trolling in these kind of lobbies. Unfortunately, the guy in passing mode is running right past me. I'm gonna go try to get this guy over here. So then I fail. And of course, the guy's trying to blow me up, even though know, not knowing I'm in the uh, glitch stuff. And there goes another guy in passive mode. Uh, I don't even know what vehicle to use, because I can't use any vehicle to get any kills. Because everyone's in passive mode. Or in a jet. I try to get in a jet. I got people in ghost mode trying to kill me. I go ghost. Somehow they still know where I am. I'll try it again. I'll probably call in uh, my jet again. 
You know, I know it's not going to help. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? I'm going to call another laser. Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. Right now, I know this is the for sure way to get there in one piece without getting killed by a flying death mosquito. So we're gonna make our way over there to the uh, airport. We're almost to the airport. We got somebody over here. Maybe we can kill him. Got him. <laughs> I guess this gate doesn't want to open today. We're probably going to kill this guy for a minute. Looks like he's trying to get that jet and uh, failing really hard at trying to get the jet. Got him again. <laughs> this guy is trying so hard, but that's the uh, point of the uh, tryhard. I'm gonna get out, shoot him with my explosive uh, sniper because I want to. You honestly think you're fucking funny? Seriously. Got him again. <laughs> He just went in passive mode. Uh, it seems like he got tired of getting killed. As do most people in GTA Online. I'm tired of getting killed by people in ghost mode or off radar. Because they don't have the balls to kill anyone to the face. Because their excuse every time is this bad sport. What do you think? That's normally their response every single time in Bad Sport Lobby. But I'm gonna go, I don't remember, I, I thought I signed back into my MC, but I guess not. We're gonna call in the Oppressor Mark II, the flying death mosquito of GTA. I'm gonna keep on saying that because it will never be any less true than it is. Go over to my oppressor to get over to that gate so I can actually and there is a deluxo right over there. I might try to get take it down once I get on my oppressor. We got him right before he could get in side his uh we got him right before he could get inside the uh, Los Santos Customs. So we got him. He was taken care of. Now we're going to use the jet again. We're not in ghost mode. Can you see? Uh, a person doing a runer, to a fully loaded runer. So they can't get killed by the oppressor Mark II. Which... Who ever wants to get killed by an oppressor Mark II is beyond me. Don't get how that got me. That was the guy that was. Uh, of course, you can't outrun. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Seriously. You're a fucking ugly little cunt, mate, and if I ever see you, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking face wide open, yeah? You're a fucking angry little fucking spastic. Right, I'll tell you what, you fat little cunt. You're boring. You don't sound Nigerian at all. So, go and fuck yourself.
Go and fucking crawl in a dirty, dank little hole where you fucking come from, you dirty, dragon-eating little fucking spastic. Right, okay, the dragon comment was probably a little bit fucking over the top, but at the end of the day, you're fucking boring. Those kind of things, I don't know how people have been able to outrun them. For some reason, it's never allowed me to outrun it. Uh, somebody chose the easy way out. Players are off radar. Of course. This is Bad Sport Lobby. And half people in here don't know how to get any kills besides off radar or in ghost mode. Besides that guy. I give him props to him. He's able to get a kill on me inside the terabyte. And I was in a jet. Terabyte, one of the cool things. As you can tell, see, uh, well, you can't see, but uh, an interesting fact about the fully loaded Runer 2000 and the uh, terabyte, the ter as you know, any other vehicle cannot auto walk onto the uh, fully loaded Ruiner, but the terabyte, because the terabyte is the only vehicle that can lock onto you when you're on foot, which is kind of like the Ruiner 2000 is uh, capability. Because it's more or less like you're on foot, even though you're not on foot because you're in a fully loaded ruiner. But just saying, because it's sort of like it, even though it's not like it. But since it's the only vehicle that can uh, lock on to people when they're on foot, it is the only vehicle that can lock on to the fully loaded ruiner. I saw an explosion over here, trying to figure out where it's coming from. We're gonna try to kill some people. That guy over there, I'm pretty sure he is in a. Uh, I don't know what. I'm pretty sure these guys are in modded the modded speedos. But this modded speedo, you cannot uh, blow up. You can normally lock onto them, but you can't blow them up. So that's how it works. I gotta be a tryhard just like the tryhards. Mm. It's the only way you can be a tryhard. Because, to be honest, if I would have locked onto him, the missile would have almost touched him, you know, for sure, he would have took the easy way out. As do most tryhards in GTA Online. like that took the easy way out like I said he was going to I was not lying I was indeed telling the truth what the stuff I say isn't a lie this guy thinking I'm gonna let him oh well he got into it mostly He's in a helicopter. Probably gonna get me one way or another. But I didn't say I killed him, so he took the easy way out before I could get the kill. I'm active flying on the death mosquito trying to get kills, which I cannot because people are killing themselves right when I try to kill them. Got that guy. Poor little tank, did not see that one coming, did he?
right now this seems just like a random GTA day. Oh, he got me. You got me with the headshot and you cannot use any bulletproof anything in this lobby. Well, in bad sport in general, not just the lobby, unfortunately. There goes that one. Is it me or didn't it seem like that guy was, uh, his missile went from behind him and killed me. Morse Mutual, we're here to help. I think we can handle that. I gotta call in my, uh, I call him in, take him out of the insurance. Hello? This is Morse Mutual Insurance. I think we can do that. I did promise the Kanjali tank, so I'm gonna deliver. Even though I'm probably not gonna get any kills with it. Because I know I'm on the clock. Team, what you want? Some wheels? Flying Death Mosquito GTL Online is just gonna take it down. It's coming at you. The way of the Flying Death Mosquito. I hate it. It's just like everyone else. But, since uh, we do have the capability, we're going to try to take that guy down, maybe. We are going to do CEO abilities, go ghost mode, and then we are going to go get the tank, and hopefully we can get some kills with the tank. This is my Kanjali. I saw it said I had it. That was did not say a lie. And of course, we've already been spotted. Yep. I'm not gonna get a single kill with this tank. There's no point of trying to get it with the. Uh, there's no point of even trying to fight the flying death mosquito of GT Online because it goes way above the capabilities of where the uh, Kanjali tank can reach. Yes, I would love to get a kill with this tank. I'll go in the pause menu and try to see if there's any nearby suspects. No? I only got a kill over here. I'll see if we can get there in time to get the kill. Hoping we can. Without getting killed by a flying death mosquito. And this game, uh... Said it has a lot of... I have a lot of griefers. So I'm gonna try to get over there and that guy died or he's the one that left. I see the black hex, so I'm assuming he's the one that died. More or less, the cops killed him. These cops are going to uh, ruin my cover. Trouble, no problem. But Lester fortunately helped us out in that situation. This guy seems like he's in a car. Hope he's on foot. And I got him. We were able to get at least one kill with the Kanjali tank. Before getting killed by... Uh, only if I was over there. Would it be Kanjali tank versus Kanjali tank? 
There's a tank right over here. Let's see which tank can win. Probably hit because I've already hit once with the flying death mosquito. We're gonna call Lester and go off radar. This guy's stupid and looks like he's trying to take out. What's up, pal? If I'm not mistaken. I can do it, but not for long. No, you have he, a minute. he did take it out. At first, I was starting to look like a speedo, but it might have just been a uh, a terabyte. This guy's gonna be hard to catch up to because he's already way ahead of me. Only got 35 seconds left on the clock. And of course, and my tank won. And we're about to get taken out by the flying death mosquito. Got to get out. Retire. We we're able to get our flying death mosquito. And we're gonna try to take out that flying death mosquito. And I committed suicide. I hit the wall. Don't know how the heck that happened, but it did. And more or less or likely, oh no, it didn't happen. I thought my oppression mark two would have been impounded by the uh, Los Santos police. This is still a war on Los Santos fail because we this wasn't really a war. Didn't make, I thought Bats would have been a perfect setting for it, but it was not, because most times it is. I guess the days I've recorded, they weren't, unfortunately. I got him, and he got me. So I'm still getting some kills. I wouldn't necessarily call this video a success. We can still go a little bit longer. Try to get a few more kills, see if we can have a hint of starting up a war. MMI, we expect. I think we can do that. And uh, a guy in ghost mode or off radar just shot me with explosive ammo. I'm pretty sure that's probably the guy I killed when he had his Kanjali tank. And he was unsuccessful with it. And I got killed by a different character person. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know where I'm getting shot from either. That was getting annoying. Really was. Didn't know where he was. So he could have been the guy over there. Could have. Just in the shadow, just from this. Could have been on the roof or something. I was able to get him again. So I'm up on him and kills. I thought I saw a tank. I was trying to go for that the first time. And I got taken out by a flying death mosquito. I might end the video soon because it's starting to seem like we are not getting no war because we're able to kill some people and get some kills in GTA but not able to really start a war and that guy I took the easy way out right before I could get my kill I 
about him, he got me. That's one of the people who killed me in the, uh, with the, um, explosive ammo. Good thing I got two flying death mosquitoes. Force Mutual Insurance, how can we help you? I'll look into it. Not look like really anyone's off radar here today. Let's try to kill these two over here. Since I also got explosive ammo, I'm going to try to use it as well. Three days, I mean, three days, five hours left. We were able to get him. There is a guy hiding over there. Don't know if we can get him or not. I want to. But I don't see it happening. see that happening unless we get on a closer roof we'll take it out with our gun we can get some kills in GTA by using our gun let's be a little douche to be a little douche and use a laser gun but I didn't happen Didn't notice he was right there on the stairs, but that was my downfall. Another oppressor. You, need, you always need a, a flying death mosquito to get anywhere in GTA. Because if you don't have one, you try to go somewhere in a car normally, you get killed. At first, I was starting to think I just got my vehicle blown up. Of course, that person just died because I ended him. I want to use a laser gun. That might not happen. Be a jerk and use up an atomizer. What a pathetic kill would that be for the other player? Parkour. Parkour. And we got shot. We almost got the kill. If we were off radar, we probably would have. But I don't like getting cheap kills like that all the time. I have the money too, if I really wanted to. But. I don't like getting cheap kills like that all the time off radar or in ghost mode. And we got killed most likely by a headshot because everyone knows headshots always count in GTA. Sorry, I'm trying to get the right position in here. So this video might end soon due to the fact that uh and he got killed, I think, by somebody off radar. That guy is definitely off radar, so we better get out of here. While we still can. No. He's not off radar. I saw him right over there. My little friend over here is trying to use an RPG and failed.
He missed, and I got him with the RPG. Am I not putting any sound effects in this video? I'm not a, that good of an editor. And nor do I have an editor myself to benefit from. Once again, take the easy way out. This is what most people do in GTA Online. I'm almost out of money in GTA to do anything. So this will probably wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe for more content if you're new. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, my recent YouTube channel update, I'm going to try to uh, do streams every time I play GTA Online. That's the keyword try to do streams. And uh, I'll take you guys next time on DTS Dysfunction. And uh, I couldn't end it on a high note there because I don't know where the heck that guy shot me from. But I'll take you guys next time on DTX Dysfunction. Peace out. Yo, what's up, cuz? Yo, what's up? What'd you have to go do? I said, what's Hello, up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright. Just enjoying oh. the bad sport lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I try to kill a nigga in a helicopter, they take the easy way out. <laughs> I got some kills, though. Haven't yeah, lost my... I'm not up in there, bro. I'm pretty sure I haven't lost my KD yet. No, I still got my KD. Yeah. I'm surviving by using my tryhard tactics. <laughs> oh, you're so nice out. Oh, I wasn't. I've been outside. It's dark out right now. It's warm. It's like 80 degrees. Looks like something. Looks like I'm using my air conditioner tonight. <laughs> What are you moving to? We don't know yet. But we have to soon, so we go to fucking dig. Why well, you guys already moved? No, not yet. We still have to find a house. Oh. Poor Jane will be off GT man. Online for a little while after that. Uh huh. What did you say? I said poor Jane will be off GT Online for a while during that. I'm recording record, still recording for my uh, YouTube video. basketball by summer hopefully <laughs> Monday Monday or two I think it's Monday or Tuesday it says three three days yeah we might have to chill out for a while cause you never know how much how long they get through there next time 14 days yeah fuck that <laughs> that's bullshit <laughs> no cause Danny blew up my car when we were doing that mission, the Bogdan. So I blew up his car, and it said, time remaining in bad sport, seven days and 23 hours. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because you were in a mission. No, it's because I was already, uh, I was already a dodgy player, and I blew up oh. his car. Oh, I see. Well, you come one, like, don't blow up shit.
Yeah, playing GTA. I haven't been on it for a while. But you haven't. It's boring as fuck. <laughs> Without the try hard. Yeah. Dominic does. Oh. Damn, I, I thought you had an Xbox. I, 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 used to, I used to, but I'm probably going to get one this summer. Try to. Oh. I want one. <laughs> 